Chapter 302 The Lofty Blood Coagulating Carving Knife Huo Yuao couldn't help but nod in his heart when he saw Gao using the best materials to create his soul tool. The method he used was very different from most conventional soul engineers, especially in terms of some details in his technique. It was evident that he had his own style. If he were able to study soul tools to such a standard just by his own perceptions, he was undoubtedly a talent. After finishing a piece of the outer shell, Gao suddenly raised his head. He looked at Huo Yuao, who appeared to be deep in thought, and asked, Brother, stop looking at me. You can't tell what I'm making. For a country bumpkin like me, even my formation arrays are created in a slightly different manner than most ordinary soul engineers. Huo Yuao was stunned and quickly reacted. His continuous observation made Gao think that he was monitoring him before creating a soul tool that was targeted at his. He smiled and didn't explain anything. He stopped monitoring Gao and finally started creating his own soul tool. Huo Yuao continued to use the standard carving knife on the carving table. He buys the flaming sun iron on the carving table and started his carving. Compared to Gao Lu, Huo Yuao was quick and exact. The carving knife seemed to be alive in his hand and moved continuously between his fingers. Each and every one of his movements was very accurate. If any teachers from Soul Engineering Academies would have seen him, they would reckon that his work was worthy of a textbook example. Iron chippings flew in the air, and a complex formation array slowly took form. Huo Yuao carved bit by bit, unlike Gao Lu's one blade, three tremors. However, he was much quicker. In the blink of an eye, he had already made a few cuts. Furthermore, the link between each cut was so precise that it seemed like he had carved everything in one shot. In terms of technique, Gao Lu's one blade, three tremors was much more difficult than Huo Yuao's method. However, Huo Yuao's method was stable and accurate. It was simpler for him to avoid any mistakes. Furthermore, it was very difficult to ensure the sharpness of his carving knife, since he was using an ordinary one. It was also difficult for him to make sure that it left carving marks on the flaming sun iron, which was very tough. It might be inferior to a temporary but forceful form of carving, but with the help of his spiritual detection, Huo Yuan managed to match up to Gao Lu's technique, and he was even faster. Gao Lu finally finished creating his outer shell. When he looked up at Huo Yuan again, he was dazed. He was dazed. What did he see? He saw streaks of shadows left behind by Huo Yuan's fingertips as they danced. He couldn't see what Yuan was doing. He only saw fine iron shavings flying out and spreading proportionally to the sides. He he managed to create his formation array so quickly. Isn't he scared of making mistakes? This was the first thought that appeared in Gao Lu's mind. He subconsciously looked at Huo Yuao's eyes. As he was born outside the cities, he was more sensitive towards soul tools than most soul engineers in orthodox academies. To a soul engineer, the look in one's eyes was very important. It was possible to tell many things from someone else's eyes. The look in Huo Yuao's eyes was something else. It was clear, but there was a strange obscurity amid the deep focus. When Gao Lu focused his attention on Huo Yuao's eyes, he felt that he had entered a trance. It was as if his entire soul was about to be drawn away by the depth in Huo Yuao's eyes. He was so shocked that he had to lower his head before he could regain his composure. When he recovered from the shock, his face was filled with bitterness. He had only gone a few rounds, but he had now met an extremely strong opponent. It wasn't going to be easy for him to win, even with the soundproofing barriers. The spectators who were here watched the tournament still maintained their silence. They turned their attention to the competitors that they had waited on. Gambling was also a form of knowledge on its own. It was important to do pre-tournament analysis. They were well aware of the special characteristics, as well as the class, of every soul engineer. For a wheelchair-bound soul engineer like Huo Yuao, it was impossible for him not to garner any attention. There were some who monitored him, and there were also some who tried to bet on him. However, Gao Lu was more eye-catching than Huo Yuao. This wasn't because he was strong, but because of the carving knife that he had. Gao Lu's carving knife was a family heirloom, evident by the name on the knife. It was a top-notch knife. Even though his family had fallen apart, Gao Lu was secretly protected by some advanced level soul engineers related to his family. This helped to ensure the secrecy of his carving knife. However, those who secretly helped him didn't want him to become a strong soul engineer, so they only helped him in that aspect. Due to the presence of his knife, Gao Lu's odds were 10-23, while Huo Yuao Odds were five to six. From the odds, it was possible to tell how the gamblers rated the differences in their abilities. Of course, there were people who bet heavily on Huo Yuao before the tournament started, which had some influence on the odds. Otherwise, Huo Yuao's odds would be even lower. It was just that no one knew that the so-called people were actually Huo Yuao himself. A dim light flashed, and a look of concentration came over Huo Yuao's face. He finally stopped, and a ball-shaped formation array slowly took form in front of him. This formation array was hollow and looked like an exquisite art piece. The dark red flaming sun iron seemed to have been given life, and now shone with a dim red light. A dangerous aura was continuously being released from it, and Huo Yuao hadn't even put his soul power into it yet. He didn't have three formation arrays like Gao Dalu. He only made one. Following this first step, he started on the other accessories. He was extremely quick. Gao Dalu was also very busy as he completed his final assembly and double-checked everything. In fact, he couldn't see Huo Yuao's work clearly even if he wanted to. While Huo Yuao had wasted a lot of time at the start, he was very quick now. He was so quick that it was impossible to fully follow his movements. One's vision would blur just watching him. Time passed second by second. The first to complete his soul tool was number 96, who took two hours. After glancing at the rest of the soul engineers, he handed his final product over. The second competitor to finish was his opponent. When 96 claimed that he had finished his soul tool, his opponent looked at his finished product and conceded defeat. The gap was too obvious, and there was no need to compete any further. 96 had created a class 5 soul tool in only two hours. Most of the soul engineers finished their soul tools after about two and a half hours. This was a tournament, and the competitors didn't have to create the best soul tools. Since there was a time limit, the best method was to create the strongest soul tool one could complete within the time limit. Gao Dalu finished 15 minutes before Huo Yuao, but he didn't rush to hand up his work. He stood on his side of the tables and watched Huo Yuao. He became more terrified the more he watched. Although he couldn't tell how Huo Yuao worked on his soul tool, he still noticed some details. Although Gao Lu's method was different from most conventional soul engineers, the difference mainly lay in his technique. However, he had never even heard of Huo Yuao's soul tool before. What's the purpose of the rings and metal strings? What's the use of those restraints? Why does the metal ball have three holes that are proportionately separated? What's he doing? That isn't a formation array. Gao Dalu was perplexed. The more he thought about it, the more confused he became. To him, Huo Yuao was a mystery. He was even a little curious now. What was Huo Yuao's soul tool used for? Huo Yuao took three and a half hours to complete his soul tool. After he finished assembling everything, he ended up with a soul cannon around 42 centimeters in length in front of him. The diameter of the barrel was around 10 centimeters. There seemed to be nothing special about the soul cannon. Furthermore, the most valuable material used to construct this soul tool was only the flaming sun iron. Even though the quality of this soul cannon was pretty good, the rest of the materials were mostly high density metals. He had actually used very few rare metals. Are you done? Gao Dalu asked. Yes. Brother Gao, you must have finished some time ago. Huo Yuao smiled and nodded at Gao Dalu. Okay, let's hand up our work then. Gao Dalu was curious as he walked up to Huo Yuao, taking the initiative to push Huo Yuao's wheelchair. Huo Yuao didn't stop him and let him do so, placing his soul tool on his thighs. The completed soul tools had to be handed to the three judges so that they could make their decision. Gao Dalu had also created a soul cannon. After all, they had to challenge each other in today's tournament. An offensive type soul tool was going to be very useful. Using defensive type soul tools would most certainly be a pure soul power. Class 4 shock cannon that can explode. It's a pretty good soul tool.
Yao Dalu agreed readily. While rare metals were very attractive to him, a soul engineer like Huo Yuao was also very tempting. Under such a circumstance, he was very willing to test out the strength of Huo Yuao's soul cannon. The chief judge said, Let me tell you the rules. When the two of you fight each other, you can only use the soul tool that you've just created. You can also use your own soul power, but you can't use any soul skills or any other soul tools. Once you use any other soul tool to defend yourself, it will mean that you've lost. Of course, you only have one life. While victory is important, protecting your own life is also very important. I understand. The chief referee looked at Huo Yuao and seemed to be suggesting something with his eyes. Huo Yuao also looked at him calmly and said, I understand. Two. All right. Send them to the dueling region. Immediately, a staff member walked over and led the two of them towards the sides of the dual region. Brother Chen, the young man sitting in the wheelchair used an extraordinary method to create his soul tool. Did you see it? The judge on the left asked softly. The chief judge replied, It was indeed quite extraordinary. If I'm not wrong, he must have infused some elements of machinery production into it to complement his formation arrays. His formation array was created using flaming sun iron. That is indeed the method you would use to create the formation array of a high powered cannon. However, it was also a little different. There isn't any catapult formation or energy gathering formation. Otherwise, his soul tool might even reach the level of a class 5 soul tool. The judge on the right said, Let's see the duel first. Yao Dalu isn't simple either. His carving knife is top notch. It's very difficult to tell who'll win or lose. The chief judge smiled and said, It seems like there are no lack of talents on our side. Hmm. We should ask the top brass whether we can pull some people over after the tournament ends. These two we've just seen are pretty good. Investigate their backgrounds. After Huo Yuao and Yao Dalu entered the long and narrow dual region, the spectators outside started to become very excited. While many soul engineers had handed in their work. The judges had also decided all of the results. Huo Yuao's duel against Gaudalu would be the first of the day. While watching the soul engineers create soul tools was a feast for these gamblers' eyes. It couldn't compare to a duel. It was the same reason why the Continental Elite Youth Soul Master Tournament was so popular. One was sitting in a wheelchair, while the other had a top-notch carving knife. It was going to be an exciting duel. Suddenly, the silent hall started to become very rowdy. Some of the VIP guests that had waited on Gaudalu and Huo Yuao started to call out curses and encouragement. Huo Yuao smiled at Gaudalu and said, "Brother Gao, I'm called Tangwu. No matter the result, I'm glad to have met you." It was the fake name that he had used to enter the tournament. Gaudalu was excited as he said, "Tangwu, brother, I'm very curious about your soul tool. When this ends, let me treat you to a drink and talk about it. What do you think? Great." Who are you out grinned? The chief judge was also in the dual region by now, diagonally above it on a separate platform. This was an underground tournament, so as was common there were very few rules. There weren't any restrictions on hurting your opponent. The judges were only here to determine the victor. They wouldn't bother with casualties. Are both of you ready? The chief judge asked. Yes. Gaudalu replied loudly. Who are you out nodded? The duel begins. The winner will advance. As the judge shouted, Gaudalu and Huo Yuao raised their hands at the same time. Gaudalu's soul cannon was dim silvery white, constructed using silver star steel. A gentle glow surfaced on it. What was the best way to tell if a soul master was using a soul seal? It was to see if they unleashed their martial soul. Their soul power wasn't restricted by their martial soul. It could be used without unleashing their martial soul. Naturally, Gaudalu didn't even unleash his martial soul. Huo Yuao's soul cannon also glowed with a dim red light, mixed with a scorching aura. The rowdy noises in the hall started to die down, and the hall went quiet. Everyone was watching them. In such a duel, it was likely that victory would be decided in one or two strikes. Gaudalu's soul cannon only took a short while to charge. A ball of bright white light carrying a slight silvery glow was fired towards Huo Yuao. It was a shock cannon that could explode. The judges had mentioned it earlier. The charge was around 30 centimeters in diameter, and was fired straight at Huo Yuao. In everyone's opinion, Huo Yuao should unleash the attack of his own soul tool and allow both cannon charges to collide with each other in the middle before they went all out against one another. Huo Yuao indeed fired his soul cannon. However, what he did was beyond everyone's expectations. When the ball of dark red light ball was fired, it stuck close to the ground as it shot forward. It brushed past Gaudalu's charge and flew straight towards him. Fierce. Both parties were going to be hurt. It was a battle between their fighting strategies. Gaudalu had acted first, and thus his cannon shell would reach Huo Yuao first. Was Huo Yuao going to directly resist it? Everyone was shocked in the next instant. Huo Yuao's wheelchair seemed to come alive and moved rapidly. It managed to dodge the incoming charge even within the narrow space. The shocked cannon had locked onto his position, thus the charge naturally followed him as he moved. Those who were sharp eye could tell that Huo Yuao was using his right hand. His right hand seemed to contain magical powers. He kept on pushing or pulling the protective barriers to either side of him, which allowed his wheelchair to move and accurately dodge the charge. There was a limit to how far the charge could travel. While it could lock onto Huo Yuao's position, its propulsion would die down after some time. When that happened, it could only blow apart uselessly. Just before it blew apart, Huo Yuao mimicked the grabbing action. After that, he flung his right hand out, and his wheelchair also moved back, allowing him to avoid the cannon shell. He only heard a loud boom as the cannon shell blew apart three meters away from him. The immense shockwave pushed him towards Gaudalu. Huo Yuao had avoided the explosion completely. The shockwave only affected him slightly. He had also managed to accurately dodge the entire attack. Who would have thought that a cripple could use such a method to avoid being struck by a fire charge? Even a normal person might not even be capable of doing that. Gaudalu didn't even see Huo Yuao's situation. The high-powered shot was approaching him, but he wasn't as capable of dodging as Huo Yuao was. He fired his cannon again, and the second charge collided with the high-powered burst more than 10 meters away from him. Boom! A scorching flow of wind spread out, engulfing more than 20 meters of the narrow passageway in front of it. Gaudalu quickly retreated, terrified. He also quickly increased his soul power to resist the powerful shockwave. Even so, he was still flung back and hit the protective barrier not far away from him. Was that really a class 4 soul tool? It was important to know that the shock cannon charge had some defensive uses, as its intense shockwave could neutralize various types of attacks. To some extent, it was both offensively and defensively inclined, which was why Gaudalu had decided to create a shock cannon. However, the high powered shot from Huo Yuao was too strong. It must be as strong as a class 5 high powered cannon shot. On the other side, Huo Yuao was also shocked. Gaudalu's shock cannon shell blew apart behind him. To him, the shockwave was nothing. It only propelled his body forward. With the protection of his soul power, he wasn't affected. However, he felt something wrong when the shockwave struck him. A strange feeling spread across his Body. He felt his heart stopping at that instant. Everything around him seemed to slow down, and his breathing also went still. The uncomfortable feeling made him feel like a corpse. Fortunately, it only lasted for a second before he regained normal movement. Even so, he was interrupted as he tried to charge his high-powered cannon and had to readjust his soul power again. How is this possible? How is it possible for a shock cannon to have such an effect? Something must be wrong. With a thought, his opponent's black carving knife that had seemed very simple and ordinary surfaced in his thoughts. Since Huo Yuao was affected by this strange power, he lost the opportunity to bring down Gaudalu instantly. The impact of the high-powered cannon charge on Gaudalu had also ended. While Gaudalu looked a little dirty, he wasn't hurt. Both of them were astonished when they looked at one another. Is is that a class five soul tool? Gaudalu asked with a shocked expression. It seemed like he had forgotten that the two of them were still in a tournament. Huo Yuao shook his head and said, "Class four. A class 5 offensive type soul tool can't be supported with just one formation array. Weren't you watching me just now? But, Huo Yuao said, let's
Amidst a reverberating boom, Yao Dalu's body was engulfed by electricity, he felt his entire body turning numb, and a terrifying explosion caused him to become very distressed. He was stuck on one side of the barrier, and his blood seemed to stop flowing. He felt extremely uncomfortable, and wanted to spit out blood. However, he couldn't do so. What was going on? The same thought appeared in everyone's mind. In their eyes, Yao Dalu made a half turn and flew towards the protective barrier to one side after his cannon charge collided with Huo Yuao's cannon charge. As he was only one meter away, he was caught in the explosion of his own class 4 shock cannon shell. The shock flung him away. Blood still flowed out of his nose and mouth even when he increased his soul power to protect himself. He looked pathetic. Fortunately, it was only a class 4 soul tool. If it was a class 5, he would have been killed if he didn't unleash his soul skills and other soul tools to defend himself. Huo Yuao wore a smile on his face. As he saw Yao Dalu sliding to the floor, he turned to the judge and said, I guess it's time to deem me the winner. If I fire one more time, he'll be dead. Yes, you win. The judge nodded. Although the situation was very weird, the strength of Huo Yuao's soul tool was indeed greater than Gao shock cannon. However, Gao Dalu decided to incapacitate himself so that he would lose for some unknown reason. Did he really think he had no chance at all? Huo Yuao turned the wheels of his wheelchair and rolled over in front of Gao He smiled and asked, Brother Gao, are you okay? As he was affected by the shock cannon shell, Gao entire body was still shaking. He struggled to prop himself up. What happened? Why was I struck by my own shock cannon? What's going on? Huo Yuao chortled and said, You've lost. Let's go. Gao still felt very dizzy even as he exited the dual region. He felt as if he was walking through a world of cotton. After Huo Yuao went to claim his reward, he asked, Brother Gao, shall we find a place to sit? Gao laughed bitterly and replied, All right, but you'll have to treat me. I have no money. All right, Huo Yuao smiled as he answered. Wang Donga was already there by this point. Huo Yuao instructed Nana to wait for Yi Keitu, since he hadn't finished yet. Wang Donga pushed his wheelchair, and they left with Gao Dalu. He wasn't worried about his bet. Chen was around, and thus nothing would go wrong. Gold soul coins were just numbers to him. Rare metals were more important. However, now was not the time. Wang Donga didn't know about the interaction between Huo Yuao and Gao Dalu. She was a little curious as he brought his opponent along with him. However, her current appearance was only as Huo Yuao's maid, and thus she couldn't say anything. After the three of them left the hotel, they started walking away from the direction that led to the Minyue Hotel. Back in the Golden Hall, Chen what's the background of competitor 66? His soul tool is extraordinary. The chief judge asked Chenan. Initially, he had wanted to offer Huo Yuao money for his soul cannon. It was obviously a class 4 soul tool, but it had unleashed the strength of a class 5. Whether it was in terms of the materials used or the time taken for Huo Yuao to create his soul tool, they were both very impressive. With such a technique, he might even be able to completely alter the method of how soul tools were created. Chenan softly said, Judge Chen, it's not that I want to rename mum, it's just that we can't trifle with him. He. As he spoke to this point, he made a gesture. The chief judge was shocked. Are you sure? Chenan leaned up to his ears and whispered a few words. All right. You can go. Don't tell anyone what I asked you about. A look of fear flashed across the judge's eyes before he regained his normal appearance. Yes. Chen and sniggered to himself. How can I let you get close to Sir Tang Wu? I still need him to help me get rich. Who are you? I brought Yao Dalu and Wang Donga to find a bar that wasn't too big. While the bar wasn't huge, there was a hubbub of laughter and shouting. The moment they walked in the door, they were greeted by pandemonium. Who are you? I furrowed his brow at this. Little Dong, go and find the manager. Who are you? I instructed. Wang Donga pinched his back with some force. After that, she furrowed her brow and walked in. Very soon, a waiter walked out. Is there a private room? Who are you? I asked. No, it's full. The waiter said without any hesitation as he looked at him in his wheelchair before glancing at the slipshod Yao Dalu. He even wore a slightly disdainful expression and spoke sarcastically. You shouldn't be coming to a bar in this state. No lady will like a cripple. Who are you? I smiled. That's not true. Cripples have their rights too, especially rich ones. As he gestured, Wang Donga retrieved the bag of gold soul coins. Huo Yuao opened the bag and swayed it slightly. Clinking sounds could be heard coming from the bag. The waiter's expression changed, and he laughed. I'm sorry, distinguished guest. I apologize for looking down on you. Although there aren't any rooms left, there are still two seats available. Huo Yuao took out a gold soul coin and said, Give me the quietest spot. We've got business to discuss. No problem. The waiter's expression changed after he received the gold soul coin. This wasn't a dubious saying like the golden hall. It was just a bar. Who are you? I wouldn't hold it against me later. Sometimes, using money was more effective than violence. Very soon, the three of them were brought to a booth at a corner of the bar. The booth consisted of seats that were separated by a few wooden benches. There were two long sofas in this booth, and a tea table. Although this booth looked very ordinary, it was still very quiet. Bring your most expensive liquor. Who are you? I instructed the waiter. The waiter's eyes flashed, and he replied, All right, please wait a minute. It'll be here soon. The elderly looked after the waiter, who had quickly scurried off, and couldn't help but say, Brother Tang, you'll be blacklisted by them like that. Who are you? I chortled and replied, Blacklisted. They can do it if they want to. Have you forgotten my identity? Gaudalu replied, All right, let's not talk about that now. What was going on just now? Why was I struck by my own shot cannon? Who Yuao answered, I used a small trick to daisy temporarily. After that, you were confused, and turned in the wrong direction. In such a narrow space, any slight deviation in your sense of direction was sufficient to cause a huge difference in where you attack it. Your cannon was fired towards the protective barrier next to you, thus you absorbed the entire impact of the explosion. I'm also very curious about something. Why does your shock cannon contain a force even scarier than numbness? Not only can it interrupt a soul seal, but it even caused my blood to stop flowing. Although it only lasted for a second, its impact was quite great. Otherwise, I would have taken you down in my first attack. After hearing Huo Yuao's question, the other hesitated. He lowered his head and didn't mutter a word. Huo Yuao didn't probe either. This was undoubtedly his secret. It's fine if you're unwilling to tell me. Let's talk about something else. You mentioned that you've never studied at an academy before. Since this is the case, it's quite a miracle that you were able to reach the standard of a class five soul engineer. A class 5 soul engineer was like a 5 ring soul king, for him to reach such a level through self-learning before he was even 30. It showed how much talent and hard work he had put in. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.